Aussie Frenchman back with the crud build and last time I left you we were talking about four wheel drivers and I forgot what we were up to so I had to look back now we are doing the PE and we're up to this part here and I had that done that was done and then basically I got to the next page and I had that to build and I decided no I wasn't going to build it alright so I got up to this stage here and I recorded some stuff and where did I put it? Oh, I've lost it. Okay, no I didn't lose it. Alright, so we got to that part there and through the magic of recording and me uh, just having a frustrating time I deleted a one video ended up deleting all my other videos, so I got to this part here, um, which is up to this part here, which is part 26. Now, before we go on to 26, I've had a good look and a good think, and I still want to do the missiles firing, and basically to have them firing, I have to have this part here leaning forward like that. So I've had a look at the instructions and where did that go? I'll just put that there for now. Alright, so now all the PE's done. Is that or what? No, it's not cooperating. Oh, there you go. Little shackles and stuff. What have you been? That's better. So they're all done. Alright. Uh, the front's completely done. So the bottom half is done apart from put you away and we got to go back to part 22 all right now I've gone from part 22 and I've looked at these parts here and I've cut them out and they're all ready to go and I've looked how it's supposed to go here down to these parts here all right so what I'm thinking of doing is putting this together now, all right, making those, all right, making those, but making them on an angle, so it can lean forward. Now, I haven't tried it yet, so we're going to start off with this piece here, and start off with number 19. Nineteen, nineteen. Where are you? All the parts are ready for part nineteen. And they're all being clean. I've spent about a good hour just cleaning my parts, so you guys wouldn't have to put up with it. I'll put that over here. You can move it over here. I'll try to keep the instructions out because the white just stuffs up the um, the lighting. So here we go. That's pretty good. Alright, so we're going to start off with uh, K50. K50 parts are not. There they are. They are these two pieces. Alright. And uh, where's my review glasses? That's it. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Oh, actually, no, the rain hasn't gone. We just had another 150 mils. The um, the uh, town over the border, Lismore, which got severely uh, flooded last month, has been flooded completely again. And I really feel for these people. Thought I'd clean them. Huh? 
But you cleaned them. No, you didn't, did you? Oh. Well, I did. Just a little bit of shit. There you go. And it goes. done a video for a while basically because as you all know I take my time building models and I build bow ships normally and it really works out for me well because I do it a little bit walk away and I come back and it's like I never spend more than an hour building at a time at the hobby table and I found out why because about seven years ago, I had plates and screws put into my neck. Uh, had my neck fused together. And about three years later, I started getting pins and needles down my left side of my hand and arm. It goes all the way down the side of my body and down to my feet sometimes. And when it gets that bad, I'm in agony. And I found out I had a pinched nerve in my neck just below the operation that I had. And, uh, okay, back to this. D5, that's what I cut first. Where do you go? D5. In between there and there, and you go like that. Okay, cool. So, basically, um, I've been taking medication for that. And it helps, but when I spent too much time at the hobby table, I begin to suffer. It's like I can walk for miles, that's no problems. Nope, wrong way around. But sitting down for long periods of time, with, with my neck hunched over like it is right now, so I can see through my glasses, it's not the best for my neck. And then on top of that, about... Uh, about... Here comes the heavy duty stuff. About... Four months ago. Four, four months? Five months ago? I was having really bad neck problems. And I went back to the doctor. And I found out that I have... He showed me the x-rays. I'm not having a good time with this, guys. It's not working out. There we go. Take a grief. Um, I found out that I have full-on arthritis in my neck. And it's just a big blob of, what do you call it? Uh, calcium. Is that bright? Yeah, it goes on an angle. Okay. Because she had me worried then. All right. Lower in its... Spot. Down you go. That's it. Lovely. I'm just having a bit of a hard time, man. Um, so, I'm going to try and keep these videos short. Um, have a walk around every now and then. And see how things go. Now, the reason why this one's not ready is because it's not. It's the opposite, and I didn't want to do cutouts, uh, number cutouts. And I saw Nigel the other day, or this morning actually, I was watching his Lancaster build, which is epic in itself. Um, I noticed that he kept his, and I, I normally do it too sometimes, but I normally leave everything on the sprue, and then I have to go looking for it, everything on the sprue again. But I noticed that he cut things off and had them ready to go. I thought, what a brilliant idea. So that's what I did here. Okay. I'm going to go for the heavy stuff. Oh, that works. I don't know fingers, but you know what? Sometimes.
Okay, replace. Oh, video and brace. All right. Excellent. All right, so that's them two parts put on. Those put on, and now I've got K10 both sides. K10. All right. K10, and they go underneath there. That's a great place to put those. Right there in front of me, douche. Now is it long or square? Long. This is gonna be fun. What's in here? That's it, you're in. Yes. Is nearly gone. Excited. There we go, you're in. Beautiful. And that is part end of part nineteen. Okay, we're gonna have a little walk around, see you in a little while. Okay, we're up to part 20, and part 20 is 22, 20. Parts are ready. Yep, okay, what have we got here? We have the aerial, so we'll put that. Together first. Okay. You have to be careful with that one because that's quite a little. I thought at first it was a. Um, a tag or something, but it's not. It's part of the model. Leaving aside, which way does that go? Facing upwards. Uh, now, the other reason why I've been back at the model table for a while is that my wife works. 24 hour shifts and I normally do my models when she's not home because when she's home I love to spend every minute with her doing stuff and we love to have a beer and listen to rock and roll music on YouTube on the telly and 
I have a bit of fun. So, um, okay, let's put you on. Now, the, I, I've looked at pictures of um, the crud firing, all right, and <clears throat> there's not much out there on the internet, believe you me, all right. The only picture I really have is that. All right, and it shows that on a slight angle, shows it on, slows it, shows it on a slight angle to the truck part, and it has that part down. All right. Now the problem I have too is, see that part. I haven't, I haven't built that part there yet, so I'm going to see how it will hold it in place. So that's what I'm trying to get the model to look like. So, and I was looking at it and I can't see the aerial that I'm about to place in the middle facing upwards or downwards or anything, all right, which is the aerial right there. So basically, that's what I'm working off. So you can go back up there, please. Alright. Yeah, you go on the top. With the doobie lucky facing forward. And what's the doobie? Which way are you? Which is what facing forward? Really doesn't. Oh, okay, you got that part there which is on the instruction set so that's forward and that goes in there supposedly. No, it's got a key in it, so it goes that way. I'm having a hard time with this one. Hang on, guys. I'm going to press pause and have a look. Okay. Well, yeah, I did a silly thing. I cut the tag off the top, so I'll have to put that last, once it's already, have it sitting upright, put it on there and let it dry. Um, yeah. Okay. What a silly thing to do. But there are more parts to put on. Okay. So we've got DK14. You guys go there. Come on. Fine tweezers, there they are. What? Oh, come on. Turn off the camera in a minute. It shouldn't be this hard. There we go. Let's 
people out there that make this stuff look so easy out. I don't know. Maybe they, what do you call it? Edit out all the bloopers, maybe. But anyway, so that's the K14s done. Now we need K15s, which are these. And they go. We got the road. K15s, they go there. Okay. No, what is this? Yeah, basically it's on that side. Oh, I talk to myself a lot too by the way guys. Mumble mumble mumble. Do you say someone talks to themselves as a genius? <laughs> well, yeah, good luck with that one. Is that where it's supposed to go or what? Yeah, there's two, two spots for it. Far out, get the heavy juice stuff out. Yay! Alright, that's better. I oh, should love this glue. Works well as long as you don't touch it once it's dried and you've got it in position. It doesn't. Nope. Nearly lost it. Nearly lost it. You go this way. That is strange. I don't know if that's all right guys, be back. I had that completely wrong, but now that I fixed it and I took off these parts that weren't needed, it looks more like the picture. Yay. Oh. All right, so that's, uh, well, we've got part 16 yet. Part 16, where are you? Did I take it off? I don't know if I did. Okay, I couldn't find D16. D16 has vanished off the planet of the Earth. I know I cut it, and I know I clean it, and I know I put it in the box, but I cannot find it anyway. So I put the other aerial on, where it's supposed to go. So I'm going to let that dry before we go on to step uh, 21. Alright, so I'm going to put you aside, over there, alright, so we're up to step 21, 
21 and we've got these are the parts here that I've got to work out how to put on an angle and see if they fit but I want that to dry first so and they're the parts here that go onto the um, the truck itself um, and they I want to glue them on before I paint it because it's the last things to go on alright so that's that Okay, well, like I said, we're up to this part here now. Step 26. And I do believe that step 26 is, what's that? That's 22, 21. What's this? That's not 26. That's 26. Alright, so what we got here, bring that over, and we've got we got part B2, 45 and 44, 45, And 44 okay and then from there and they go there and they go there so we need K K K what K K 37 there's the other one there it is And that's going to go there with the tips over the top here. Well, this is going to be a lot of fun. All right. Blue tap. Gray on gray on gray. Can you see that? Yeah, it's all right. Now, how am I going to do this? That goes like that, that goes like that, and over the top. This is going to be fun guys, I think I'm going to just do this off camera before I go crazy. Okay, <laughs> I did it off screen and it was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, but it's done. Alright, let's carry on. Now we're going to put uh, D63, which is these ones here, and they go, and they go. In there somewhere. Uh, okay. Okay, that one there. So that goes like that. That one there with the PE. That's PE, yep. That one there. Oh, 
Well, it goes all the way down here. Oh, my God. Confusion. Oh, all right, confusion. Oh. oh, that's those parts. I was looking at the wrong parts. So they go there. So that goes like that. Now, that one there goes... Is that go of the holes? That was great. You think they give you a picture with the... Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. So that goes in there like that. Okay. I didn't do a very good job on cleaning these. Right now, back to where I was. Now, that's facing like that. And that goes in there like so. Alright. That's not right. Ah, not, I'm not having a good day, guys. Okay, guys. Um, I've gone ahead and finished part 26. Um, made the ladder, put it on. If I was building Battleship, I would have put on that last bit of... I don't like putting painted stuff with glue onto a model so I'll just work that work around that won't be a problem and I'll once it's dry I'll give these a bit more of a polish come up a little bit better and part 27 is this part here so I'm going to leave that for next time guys, um, just remember to support Ukraine, care for one another, and uh, be there for one another, uh, times are, are hard these days, and take care guys, and have a good one, thanks for watching.